Good day, great men and women of God. How are you? I say again, great day to the people of God. What a great day to be alive today and every day. I know you woke up praising God for the breath that you took. You praised him for another opportunity to get right before him. Let us remain prayerful for each other as we embark on another new start. This year is not only a better one, but it will also be a year of restoration. Can you imagine getting back everything that Satan stole from you, your family, your friends, and even your enemies? All because we serve Jehovah Tiskanu, the God of righteousness. Amen. This season is the turning point for a lot of people, but they still might need your help. We find that if you do nothing in a difficult time, our strength is limited. But if we can rescue those being taken off to death and save those stumbling towards slaughter, then we have completed a godly mandate. We need to begin to speak up and out against all injustice. Proverbs 24, 11 through 12. Rescue captives condemned to death and spared those staggering toward their slaughter. When you say, we didn't know this, won't the one who weighs hearts take note of it? Won't the one who guards your soul know it? Won't he pay back people for what they do? God word translation. We also can look at a different translation for better understanding. Rescue those who are being led away to death and save those who stumble toward slaughter. If you say, look here, we didn't know about this, doesn't God who examines motives discern it doesn't the one who guards your soul know about it won't he repay each person according to what he has done international standard version jehu spirit of truth church is waiting for you to find the messengers of christ radio network our internet radio broadcast to over 115 countries our YouTube channel is the best that God has given me. 2,000 subscribers, double dose podcast, 50,000 listeners. Also, Jehu Kingdom Builders Cable Television launching soon as your new home. We are dedicated to flooding the airwaves with the gospel of Christ globally. Only God could do it. We extend an invitation to seize the moment by connecting to a growing nation of believers. Share the words that you receive from God globally. Or share information about your business, special events, or services. Important information is now on the screen. We want to thank those who send in their donations, prayer requests, tithes, and testimonies. We appreciate you for all that you do for Christ. Your labor has not gone unnoticed or been in vain. We need to continue to praise God for the new and upcoming changes for the better in our lives. Jehovah gives us new favor, grace, and mercies daily. Allow Jehovah to continue to speak to his people through one of his generals, Apostle Stephanie as Great House. Come on in, Lord. Amen. Thank you. The opportunity that you bless me to come before your people and to be a blessing to your people God I thank you for it in the mighty name of Jesus glory to God and I like to say blessings to the men and women of God everywhere under the sound of my voice my sons and daughters in Ghana Kenya South Sudan Uganda as well as here in the USA 
It is our time. Mm. Oh, see, that's something right there to shout about. See, if you've been through something whew, these last few years, when you hear the word, it's our time. It's your time. It's my time. Oh, that's something they get happy about. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Because it is our time to grow emotionally. Mm -hmm. Come on here, saints. Brides of Christ. We're going to grow financially. We're going to grow motivationally. We're going to grow physically and spiritually. Now, when we grow, let us assist someone else to grow. Is it all right? Because that's what we are. We're not so much church builders as we are kingdom builders. Amen. Glory to God. This is the season. We need each other more and more. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Excuse me. This is the season. Hallelujah. To show up for others. See, in our showing up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please take a moment to stand up for those who can't stand for themselves right now. We know sometimes life just beats you down. Mm -hmm. We understand that. They may be depressed. They may be oppressed. Hallelujah. Acting ungodly and unchristian like. And just ready to throw in a towel. They may be the brides of Christ or the future brides of Christ. So see, can we begin to see God's face? To see what he would have us to do to assist them. Glory to God. You can't assist everybody now. You got to go by God's divine order. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But if you ask him who you're supposed to assist, he will surely tell you who you're supposed to assist. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It doesn't have to be something big. Whatever we do, let us remember that we do it as unto the Lord. It is not our next testimony. It's not an upcoming sermon. This is not a conversation we have with our ace boon coon. No, this is a conversation you have with God. We have to return back to doing things in secret. That we may be rewarded by our God openly. Our problem is when we do stuff, we want an instant gratification. We want to be rewarded by man. I keep saying it over and over again. Man is limited in what he can do for us. Us. It is just his word. Test God's word and see what happens. We don't have no complaints, God. I don't care what it looked like, Father. All I know is you're good. All I know is you haven't advocated your throne. All I know is you're a protector of your people. All I know is that you are God, the Alpha and the Omega. Mm. Glory to God. Let me come back to earth for a minute. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It is just the right thing to do. You're not doing anything extra. You're just doing the right thing. Okay. See, we want to, we want to let the leaders lead by example. And begin standing up for the truth and righteousness of Christ. That all of us are supposed to know and love. Uh-huh. Glory to God. See, leaders, don't let your legs buckle and crumble in this season just because a hurricane is coming. Don't get tired of standing just because the creek is rising above the leaves. Keep standing so others will get the encouragement to stand also. I get blessed. You serve a God that won't quit until you get blessed. Glory to God. See, this is our season when we embrace our call. And that call came with a covenant. 
And it was a covenant was leadership must lead by example. Mm -hmm. See, we made a conscious decision, no matter if it impacted our tithes and our offerings, we would follow Christ and all of his ways down through eternity. I say again, it's just the right thing to do. Glory to God. Woo, hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Speaking about the right thing to do. Can we as brides of Christ embrace Jehovah Tiskanu, the Lord of Righteousness? This name is not new to us. As far back as the days of Jeremiah, we were introduced to this name and its meaning. Tiskanu means justice, righteous, righteousness, glory to God, deliverance. It means victory and it means prosperity. We know that our God is right. Hallelujah. I tell God all the time, either they lying or I'm lying. But one thing I know for sure, God, you cannot lie. You are God of righteousness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, who is our righteousness, he stands for us. He keeps providing for us. And he do it daily. Hallelujah. His righteousness and his justice is poured out on us daily. Glory to God. Jehovah Tiskanu, he provides victory and prosperity for his brides of Christ daily. Glory to God. Jehovah Tiskanu will show up for his prize when we lack our own righteousness and justice. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, minister of the gospel, Nikita D. Brute. Share some light on this subject with us. Glory to God. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Hallelujah. 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 So far, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for this word, Jesus. It is just like our God to be our righteousness and more. What we should love about him, he is never late. Jeremiah 23 and 6 reads, In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell in safety. And this is his name by which he will be called Yahweh is our righteousness. Like some English Bible. Here is another translation with an additional verse to help explain the importance of knowing Jehovah as Tiskanu. Verses 5 and 6. Time's coming. God's decree when I'll establish a truly righteous David branch a ruler who knows how to rule justly he'll make sure of justice and keep people united in his time Judah will be secure again and Israel will live in safety this is the name they'll give this is the name they'll give God who puts everything right. The message gospel. To all those who have been divinely connected to our ministry, please remember to use more than one translation for the best clarity possible. Let us look at the last translation. In his time, Judah will be delivered and Israel will dwell in safety. This is the name by which he will be known. The Lord our righteousness. International Standard Version. The next voice you hear will be from one of God's generals, Apostle Stephanie as Great House. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for this word, Jesus. Thank you, Yahweh. We are waiting for the righteous men and women of God to speak out. We say that we are doing what God has commanded or what our mandate dictates. 
then how come the enemy uses brides of Christ to attack other brides of Christ and we have nothing to say? Some of these attacks has happened in the house of God. Where was the righteous men and women of God at that moment? Who stood up for the ones who were being attacked? Where was your prayers about the situation? Where was your prayer language about the situation? Where was your fasting about the situation? We, the brides of Christ, are trying to hear the voice of the righteous ones. One of my favorite sociology words, he got this quote out of the Bible, but it, it just rung in my heart for years, ever since I heard it. And it's simple. He said, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. That's Edmund Burke. Hallelujah, glory to God. But see, accordingly, Proverbs 24 and 11, it reads, rescue those who are being led away to death and save those who stumble towards slaughter. Now, I'm pretty sure this is where Burke based his quote on. See, we believe that this word is for the righteous men and women of God. Come on here. Somebody catch your word of deliverance and healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. See, we know that Jehovah left some examples of characteristics of godly righteousness. See, the characteristic of godly righteousness was introduced to us in the book of Job. Glory to God. See, he's still good. He's still good. He was good back then. He's good today. And he's going to be good for the future generations. And see, I say again, the character of righteousness was introduced to us in the book of Job. He was known as a person who was perfect in righteousness. Shh. We're waiting for righteous men and women of God to speak out. Glory to God. And everybody know this ain't the ministry that gets your ears itched at. But this is a ministry that's going to cause us all to look at ourselves and grow. Leaders, please begin to assist all your members in their ministry if it is within you. Don't sit back and collect another tithe, love offering, building fund, anniversary gifts, and etc. And do nothing to assist them. In their vision that God trusted them with. See, we are believing God's concept about true unity in the houses of God. And it be, it's going to have to begin and be between leaders and members as well. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I did forget that part. I forgot you may have had an attitude because someone else has stepped to the plate to assist them. Not only did you get another attitude, you set out to stop them from completing what God's mandate to them was. I guess you did something after all. Whew. Come on, catch your word of deliverance. See, what is most important to the leaders is that we do not forget that we all members and the members in their mandate. And it is the members and their mandate that God has entrusted us with. Hallelujah. With them and their vision. Oh. Uh, okay. I I'll just move on. But I want to leave this with you. We are waiting 
for the righteous men and women of God to speak out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you for that word. Amen. Amen. Thank you for those life-changing and prophetic words to grow by. Let each of us remain encouraged, focused, healthy, and vigilant in Jesus Christ as we continue to represent the Lord. Remember, it is not too late to turn around and give your life to Christ. If you do not know Jesus as your Savior, you can. Know this first and foremost. God loves you and you are his precious creation. We continue to extend the hand of Jesus to you. Giving your life to Christ is a beautiful way to say you love him. We must acknowledge our sins first, then place the sins and guilt in God's hands. Our new life journey begins with Romans 10, 9 through 13. It only takes a sincere confession from our hearts. That if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him will not be disappointed. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is Lord for all, abounding in riches for all who call on him. For whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10, 9 through 13, New American Standard Update. Repeat this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I come to you and ask you in Jesus name to set me free from any wrong thoughts, fear, doubt, unbelief, believing, any lies of the enemy, the devil, or demonic influence and spirits. Deliver me from any ideas that I have that hinder me from coming to you. Father God, deliver me directly of all hindrances to become your born again, kingdom child, and Jesus Christ, holy name. I resist the devil and all of his demonic spirits must flee and leave my presence. Lord God, remove the lies and the hindrances out of my life. I ask you to force out, drive out, and lose all evil intentions and things far away from me. In Jesus' name, amen. God binds your blessings, strength, peace, love, knowledge, and wisdom to me. And it is so. Welcome to the kingdom of God's family. The angels and saints are rejoicing for you have returned to our Father, and it is so. Now connect yourself to us or another Bible teaching ministry and get to know your Father's ways. Great! Backsliders, you already know that it is okay to return to God. Jeremiah 3 and 22. Turn back, unfaithful people, and I'll heal your unfaithfulness. Look, we're coming to you because you are the Lord, our God. International Standard Version. Repeat from your heart with me. I am sorry for all my revisited and new sins that I committed against you. I want you to know I repent of them all. Therefore, I return my life to you today. I confess my faith in your son, Jesus Christ, that he is Lord. I believe that Jesus died and resurrected to give me eternal life. I confess my trust in him and I accept him as my personal Lord and Savior. 
Now, here are some ways to help us find our way back to Jehovah on the screen. God is so in love with us that he no longer identifies us as strangers to him. Look at the word of Ephesians 2, 19 through 20 for yourself. Begin to praise Jehovah for accepting you back into the family. All glory and praises belong to you, Jehovah. Also, maybe there is someone that may be sick among you. A promise of Psalms 107 and 20 releases this blessing upon the people of God. Jehovah says he sent his word and healed them from their destructions. King James Version. Place your hand on whatever part of your body needs a touch. And Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for the hearers, doers, and listeners of the word. We ask that you forgive us for anything we said in eyesight or ear sound that was not pleasing unto you. And right now we ask that you heal our bodies and bind up anything and everything that the enemy may have against us. We bind up all mental illnesses. We bind up all physical ailments. We bind up COVID and cancer and HIV and AIDS and anything else that does not line up with the word of God, Lord. We ask that you heal broken bones. We ask that you heal uh, broken organs, Lord. Anything that's not lining up, Lord, we ask that you allow everything in our body, physically and mentally, to line up according to the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And it is so. Here is one of the essential parts of the service where everyone can participate in. Stay in the spirit, please. Perhaps Jesus leads you to partner with us monthly for as little as $30, which is only a dollar a day. Or perhaps you can plant a one-time seed of $30 or even a different amount. You will receive the same blessing of Jehovah if you give one time or monthly. So obey Yahweh and give as he has blessed you to share. We appreciate any help you can provide and God bless you. Go to one of the different ways to make your tax-free donations and give your love offerings, plant your seeds, or pay your tithes. That is on the screen right now. May God return it to you 100 fold before it leaves your hands. And it is so. Prophetically speaking, we know we help someone break free from the control, deceptions, lies, and trickery of Satan. We declare and decree that this word will continue to resonate in your emotions, finances, minds, motivations, and spirits down through eternity. Grace and peace multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Now follow, share, and subscribe and start a watch party with these weekly messages with others wherever you go. Remember, always use the best that God has given unto you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.